Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Suhail Ahmed and today I'll show you how to scrap products from etsy.com using a Google Chrome extension. So first of all, you will need Google Chrome browser and then you will have to click on these three dots and click on more tools, extensions and here you can open Google Chrome web store and search for an extension called web scrapper dot dot io and press enter here is a web scrapper extension click on this and click on add to chrome and it will ask you to install okay once it's installed on uh, your browser there will be uh, a um, web scrapper icon here but if not, then click on these extensions and pin web scrapper to the uh, taskbar. Okay. Now uh, open Google or open Etsy directly if you know any of search URL. So I'll search for Etsy. And uh, here I'll search for any product I want to scrap and I want to add it to CSV. I want to import as CSV. So, uh, for example, currently I want to scrap vacuum cleaners robot and press enter. Now, here we have uh, these products in search. You can see there are uh, 750 or more results. If you scroll down, you will find the pagination as well. So we will also need this if you want to uh, scrap multiple pages from Etsy. So first of all, we will right click and click on inspect element. As we already installed this web scrapper, then we will uh, have this web scrapper tab uh, within inspect element. If you do not see this and it is something like this for the first time, if you open this, then just click on these three dots, not these ones, the ones were for inspect element and click on dock to bottom then click on web scrapper now here you can see I do not have any sitemap yet so first of all we will click on create new sitemap create sitemap and copy this search URL even if you add any filters here if you add any filters they will uh, reflect in this URL bar click copy and add this URL here and name the sitemap I'll name it etc and click on create sitemap here uh, first of all we will add these single links and then we will uh, add the data from uh, every single product but first of all from this page we will need these single links click on add new selector and type in the name of the selector and we will need links so click on link and we will need multiple records click on select and then click on any anchor and it will automatically select all relevant anchors till the end of the page so click on done selecting and click on data preview to confirm if we have all the single links yes from this selector click on save selector now we will open the single page any of these single page will work because all the structure will be the same for each single page so uh, open a single page on the front side do not open it in a new tab uh, click on single here and if it opens in a new tab just copy this URL and come back to the previous tab where the scrapper script is open and replace the URL and open here uh, now you can see uh, in the scrapper we are on the single page and in the browser we are also on the single page now from the single page we will need a uh, title the price this image and some description this one Click on learn more this description and if any other fields are required then you can uh, choose that as well so first of all let's uh, add a new selector 
leave it as a text and name it, name the selector as title and click on select click here click on data preview to confirm yes this is the same title from the hc product page click on save selector add new price it is also text click on price data preview to confirm yes and save it now description click on add new selector description as you can see there are some styling applied on the description so we will get the description as HTML not just a plain text so click on select and click on the parent div of the description click on done data preview okay and save it now we will get the image so for image click on add new selector type in the image and the type is also image because we will need the SRC of this image click on image select and check data preview and we have the URL if you want to confirm if the image is correct click here and go to the image and yes it is the image so close this and save it so currently we need four fields from each single page and all uh, pay all products will be scrapped from this page this uh, search page so uh, in, in the next step I'll show you how to um, grab all the products from all these pages but currently let's just start scrapping click on scrap and start scrapping and wait for it it will uh, first get all the links from this page and it will automatically go on each page product one by one and get all the data all the required data we mentioned uh, in the scrapper uh, and it will save it in a CSV or Excel file and you can download it so uh, currently let's uh, complete this and uh, then I'll show you how to get the next page result as well so I'm stopping uh, pausing this video and uh, will resume after I got all these products it will take uh, hardly five to ten minutes uh, or maybe less so uh, let's pause the video now after a minute it's still running so uh, let me just show you how to uh, get the data from here do not close this uh, browser but if you have to if you want to uh, stop scrapping right here then just close it and let's click on sitemap and click on export data now you have two formats in Excel or CSV so uh, most of the time we need CSV but if you want to uh, manage or organize the data then you can also download it using XLS and open it uh, using Microsoft Excel so let's get it in a CSV after all uh, I'll open it in Microsoft Excel uh, for the CSV as well so as you can see we just got one image and uh, but all the prices prices are there yes it's actually uh, formatted um, like this that is why it's not uh, visible the price is not visible but the price is there uh, the title uh, the single URL and the image so uh, only one image we got so let's go to the scrapping script and let's see what's wrong with the image open selectors click on single and go to the single page again okay now here it uh, here is what the problem um, we are scrapping the image using the alt tab which is not right just edit this and let's right click and inspect element on the HC image and let's see for a unique class so class with salute Let's click on web scrapper and let's see if we have a uh, unique identity for these ones click on select now this is a 75 by 75 image and uh, we will have to find a way to um, get the full image from this so open this image in a new tab and let's 
compare the difference between these two. So okay, the, the main difference is this 794 by n and 75 by 75. And is included. So this is the main difference. It means that if we copy this and change it here and press enter then we will get the, uh, the, the larger image. So that is good. We can uh, get these 75 by 75 images and we will uh, change them later in the CSV. So click on save. Uh, this this uh, this way we can also get the next image which is image 2 I oh, know it's again uh, getting by alt tab uh, okay just leave it with one image and uh, click on scrap again now after a minute uh, just checking do not close this browser and go to the scrapper script and click on export data into a CSV and let's see if we have the images okay we are uh, we are having the images right so let's just press control F on your keyboard and come to replace uh, in the replace with paste that 794 by n and copy this 75 by 75 from one URL and paste it here and click on replace all now let's check any of these images if they are the full width yes these are the full images so okay we can uh, get these images from these URLs and uh, once it's finished you can uh, download the final CSV let's close all of the previous CSVs and get the one with updated data and you can see we already have uh, more than that what we had uh, previously so uh, just replace this 75 by 75 with the uh, n94 794x by n <coughs> okay uh, now let's get back to the uh, next URL let's close the current scrap and open selectors and come to the root and open the uh, search result page as well now uh, we are getting single pages from the root root means this URL uh, we will add a new selector on the root called next and it will be a link uh, and for the next we will get this link but it will also get the next link from the next page so it will uh, the parent will be root and press control and click on next so the next will also be um, ch child to the uh, next itself okay now click on select and click on this next save selector and also edit the single and the parent will be selected root and next by pressing control plus click on next okay now if you choose to scrap then it will first uh, get the first page then it will get the uh, single pages and then click on next and then uh, the next products and then the next product and next product as well until it finishes uh, it reaches to the end so <clears throat> that is how uh, you can get the next pages and the single pages at the same time so uh, I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel uh, uh, where you will not miss my future videos. Thank you.